Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Modular Soldier Pack from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. A big shout out to the creator, Zukov. Hopefully I'm not butchering your name. A big shout out to him for sending me this pack to review for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So right off the bat here, we are in the demo level that showcases all of the different Modular Soldiers. So there's a lot of different customization. And if I go to the very front here, you're gonna see that there's a lot of different pieces that come with this pack. And like I mentioned before, this is entirely modular. So that means that you have all these different customization options. And there's also a built-in character customization menu. So I'll get to that here in a second, but let's go ahead and let's actually start off here in the back. So here are the different pre-made characters that comes with this pack. So you can see all of the different combinations of gear. So you see we have the boots, the pants, the gloves, and this little ski mask there. And then over here we have you know, a soldier who's completely geared out. You have the tactical vest, the helmet with the microphone, and all of these models are extremely well detailed. So you can zoom in really close and you can just see all the texture on all the different pouches as well as like the detail and the headset here and the helmet. So they're all really well detailed. And they all come with like these patches and insignia. So this one is Ukrainian army. So here's another variant. So you can see the different combinations of outfits as well as the different color regions. Here's the back. And this is rigged to the epic skeleton, so it already comes rigged and ready to go. So this is an American soldier, so you can see this character has the full vest and complete armor. And I'll also show you guys that they have a complete tutorial on how to add your own custom patches and insignia. Okay, so we have a German police character. So you can just see the different color regions. This character has a more darker customization to it. And we also have the helmets, the shield protection on it. And I'll play us some of these characters as well. I'll show you that they have it set up for blueprints. So this character has some basic camouflage on. And then we have the UK police. So he has his night vision goggles there. What's crazy to me is just like the level of detail. You can zoom in, you can see all the stitches, all the wrinkles in the clothing. Then we have a Ukrainian soldier. So we have his full gear. Then we have a French, I think like special forces. And Canadian, I think special operations, I'm not sure. But you can see the character comes with uh, different decals as well. A French police. And then I think a German police or riot squad. Here in the back you can see that everything is rigged and animated. So here are the... Uh, animations playing on the character. Now if I hit play here you can see the character we can run around and and the animation blueprint and all that stuff is already set up so you can very easily just open up the blueprint and add your own character logic or you can migrate this into your project. Okay and if I play as this other character you can see that the pouches also have physics so you can see as I run uh, the back pouch here is simulating with physics. So that's a really nice addition to this pack that you could have little things uh, dangling off of your character. Okay, over here are all the different modular pieces. So, so you can see here all of the magazine holders and packs come with different types of variations. You have a radio here, uh, scissors, all sorts of different pouches. And then over here you have the different combinations. So. These are presetted vest combinations that you can add to your character and you can see the different magazines and each loadout. So, you know, if you're making a game or maybe even a short film where you need as much control over all the different packs on your character's outfit, this modular soldier pack offers it all. So you can also see here the backpack parts as well. So you can see the little pouch and the radio on the back. So different variations there. Uh, we have the different helmets here so we just have the default helmets and you're going to notice that these things have little details on them as well so you can see like the flashlight on the top of the helmet uh, we have the face guard here and it's just really impressive to see all the different wires 
as well as variation. So you can see that the headset on this one is down, whereas this one is put up to the side. Then this one has a microphone out. So just different variations with each headset. And then here we have the night vision goggles one. So you can see it comes with the down configuration as well as you know, the resting position without it uh, buckled in and with the chin strap down. Okay, and then over here you can see the, the goggles on the helmet. Okay, over here we have a full vest and belt configuration as well as some shoulder pads, shoulder armor pads, and other armor pads here, uh, and the gloves, as well as the boots. Okay, and here's the little pouch that has physics enabled on it. And then we have a couple different variations of outfits. So we have the shirt with the sleeves down versus the shirt with the sleeves up. You can see all the different pants variations with different creases and wrinkles in them. And over here in the back, we have the headset, which is really nicely done. You can see how detailed it is. When I zoom up real close on it, all the different configurations for the he headset. And this is a character model that comes with the pack. So you can see how detailed it is, as well as, you know, the ski mask and the hat. And then the goggles with all the different positions that you can have it as well as the glasses. So those are all the different pieces. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of different color regions and color customization. So I'm gonna show you that in the in the showcase level. So if I hit play here and full screen this, this allows you to completely customize the character and we can rotate the character around. I can change the camera. So this is a completely built-in character customization editor. First of all, we can go in and add various things like we can add a helmet let me just zoom in the camera here and you can add different variations of the helmet so I'm gonna add a little auto rotation here so you can see the different helmet types as well as different color types so we can add different color presets to this character and there's a lot of different camo options as well so you can see all the different camo there's also here these presets. So if I cycle through these, you can see things like the flashlights and headset, all those presets. So I can cycle through these as well, uh, even with the goggles attached there. And of course I can change the color region on these as well. So if I want a different color on the flashlight there, just a lot of detail and a lot of customization that you have. You can add a visor as well. So if you want the visor upright or down, that's up to you. And also the night vision goggles, we can cycle through these and also change the coloration of that. You can also change the patches so we can cycle through different countries. And like I mentioned before, you can add your own custom patches. So I'll show you that here in a bit. We can change to the cap and it comes with different wearing styles. So you can have the cap backwards or forwards. Of course, you can change the color. We also have glasses as well and goggles. And then we have the headphones so we can cycle through the different colors that we have to offer. You can change the different shirt variations. So you have the one with the sleeves rolled up, the sleeves rolled down, as well as different color options. So quite a bit to pick from there. And you have a lot of different camo options, like I said before. We can change the gloves coloration as well. And here's the vest, so we can enable or disable the vest, change the color regions. And you can add various pouches to the vest. So here we have different pouch options and you can see all the different options and variations that come with this pack. So really nice. You can see we have the radio up there. And of course we can change the color regions on all these. Then we can add some more armor plating over here. You can also add these shoulder pads so you can customize, of course, the color as well as the patch on the side of the shoulder. So we can change the different insignias. 
the war belt. So this comes with, you know, all the different pouches on the belt. And you can cycle through all the different uh, variations. I guess the drop pouch, which is that little pouch that has the physics enabled on it. You know, I'm not really sure what this pouch is used for, but maybe write down in the comments if you guys know. And then you can change the pants coloration as well as the boots. And if you want, you can also select random combinations. So it'll automatically generate random presets uh, based on basically all the different assets. So this is actually a really cool generated one. This guy looks like he's completely geared out. You know, he's got the shoulder pads, all that stuff, and the helmet with the visor down. Now you could also check out all the presets over here. So if you want to uh, cycle between the various presets, and see what this has to offer you can cycle through these real quick like so and you can very easily just change the color camo or patch designs over here now in addition to this pack it has really great documentation that explains you know all the different modular pieces how to set it up in your brand new project so you can add your own custom patches and patterns to your character so for example in the documentation you can see uh, they're adding this my Little Pony pattern and it shows you how to import the texture and apply it to your character so you can get different camo variations on your character according to the different regions that you can customize and he also shows you how to uh, customize the patches and it looks like they have the substance painter file here it's already set up for you you just have to basically edit the text here and it looks like you can add your own custom country patches and whatnot to your character and overall, if you guys are looking to make either a third person, first person shooter, these are really high quality character models that not only offer customization in terms of modularity, but also customization to all the different you know, color regions, camo patterns, and overall just comes with a lot of different unique assets. So if you guys are looking for a high quality modular soldier pack i recommend checking this one out i'll leave a link in the description below if you guys are interested and yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below and as always i'll see you guys in the next one